Here I have prepared parts for another project. Here is a regulator from eBay. Here I have a socket. Here I have two boxes. And from these I'm gonna make an enclosure for this regulator. My thing, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna enlarge or better say change this uh, heatsink and I'm gonna use this bigger heatsink here because this one is too small. The heatsink is done. I wanted to make the heatsink as big as possible. I think this will do it. And I think it's gonna be good that the heatsink will have plenty of place here and it maybe will be better cooling.
Now let's test what I am able to regulate with this. I would like to regulate my soldering gun. Just to watch the light bulb. And it looks like it's working. It's definitely gonna be handy when I am gonna solder SMD parts. I think. Alright. And believe or not, this is gonna be handy for me also because this drill has very high uh, RPMs. So I am gonna use it also for this drill. And the last thing what I am gonna try to regulate with this regulator is a lamp. So let's try. It's working nicely. And don't forget, uh, don't try to regulate with this regulator LED light bulbs and I definitely would not recommend to dim compact light bulbs with this. At the end I want to say few words. This project didn't cost me more than 8 euros I think. What goes about the safety? This project definitely deserves a fuse. I am not gonna be using it when I will be away from house. Another thing what I want to say is that this dimmer always needs a load. So you need definitely minimum load put into this dimmer. Alright, thank you for watching.